In today's video, I am so excited to sit down and talk with you guys and share how I like to make my home and life cozy and peaceful for the change of the season now that we're moving into fall. Hi there, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Jessica and here on my channel, we focus on all things mom life. However, everything we do here in my space does have a bit of a healthy twist as I'm a holistic nutritionist and a nutritional practitioner. So I've made quite a few videos here on my channel about cozy and making your home feel cozy. I even made one in the middle of the summer. I'm pretty sure it was in July. I will link that for you guys up here in the cards. But I love the feeling of being cozy and creating a peaceful, warming environment. It's really important to me. And to be honest with you, it's really nourishing to my mental health. So I know oftentimes we associate the word cozy with the cooler months and I definitely also feel those sentiments. However, I think there's a lot that we can do regardless of the season to bring that specific element into our homes, that feeling of peace and cozy and ambiance that really creates a tranquil environment. So I've been on a journey ever since we moved here into the new house to really embody that every single day, regardless of the season. But we are in fall and it is a foggy day out right now. This morning when we woke up, there was frost and fog and it definitely helps me embody all of those sentiments even more so. So what I'm gonna be doing is taking you guys throughout my home and showing and sharing with you the little things that I do to create that peaceful, relaxing energy and mood. And you don't have to have a new home. You don't have to move homes. You don't even have to have a home. You can do this in an apartment. You can do this in a bedroom. You can do this anywhere. You can accomplish this energy in any space that you live in. So I've created a list on my phone and it's my screen is so cracked. So versus me showing you on my phone, I will put it here on the screen next to me. We're gonna go through some of my favorite ways to really accomplish that productive, positive, peaceful vibe for autumn and my best tips on how we're really embodying that here in our house. So we're gonna go through a few different categories in this video. First is of course going to be our space. Then we're gonna go through some healthy habits that create a peaceful, cozy environment in our own body. Likewise, some foods because of course it's a Jessica Spires video and it wouldn't be a Jessica Spires video without having some healthy, nourishing foods. And lastly, we're gonna go through some of my favorite things that we can do to accomplish gratitude because when we are grateful for our space and truly what we've been able to establish and develop in our environment, I do think that that makes us feel cozy from the inside out. Being calm and peaceful on the inside helps us embody and exude those sentiments on our external environment as well. So I hope that you guys will enjoy today's video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up and then let me know in the comment section down below what are your favorite ways to really encapsulate and embody all of those cozy autumn vibes. Okay, so starting off with our first category and that is your space, your home, your apartment, your room, whatever space you occupy and you live in, that is the area of focus under our first category. Creating cozy vibes in our space is really important and it's one of those things that I often think, like I said earlier, we associate with the fall season. So having dim lighting, having lots of ambiance, whether it be through lamps or candles, diffusers, there's a whole list of things that we can do to really make our space feel cozy and inviting. And I've seen your comments here on YouTube about our new home being very white and a little bit sterile for some. And I understand that it is definitely a big change compared to our old space, but I encourage you to have an open mind. Just because the thought of cozy may be associated with something in your mind and someone else's space looks a little bit different, that's okay. And that's the beauty of creating this level of comfort and peace in your home is you can really make it your own. But there are a few things that you definitely want to pull into the home to create that level of ambiance. And lighting is one of the best ways to do that. So 
whether it's with lamps or it's with lights that are on dimmer switches, those are some of my favorite ways to really bring in all of the fall cozy vibes. It does start to get darker earlier and even in the mornings, it is much darker even a few hours after we wake up. And instead of turning on all of the bright overhead lights, something I like to do is turn on lamps or turn on those lights and just have them on a dimmer switch. Additionally, I love, 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 love to bring in some scents into the home. So within my space, aside from lighting, having things that smell beautiful and smell clean are so important. You guys have seen me share over and over again my love and affinity for my diffuser. My diffuser is just one of those things that every single morning when I fill it up with its oils and with its waters, I talk about it like it's a, a living thing, but I, I feel that way honestly about it. And when I fill my diffuser up with its oils and its waters, I have such gratitude, which we will get to. I have such gratitude for this little machine that brings me so much joy and comfort. So bringing in those scents of fall, whether it's like a fireside scent or cinnamon bark, sweet orange, it's totally up to you. But having those scents in my space with the lights dimmed, it just brings me this cozy feeling from head to toe. You could most definitely do this with candles as well. I know with Huga, we always associate candles with that cozy feeling. And that is a wonderful way to bring that element. I do have a few candles from some clean candle companies that I will link with you guys down below because those are obviously wonderful alternatives just so you know that there's not a lot of artificial ingredients that you're burning off in the home. So aside from lighting and scent, the next thing to do would be cozy blankets in your space. We have baskets of blankets all throughout the home or if you're somebody who likes the look of it, you could definitely have blankets and pillows draped over your couches. I love that look. It's very like pottery barn to me. I just think that it is so warm and so inviting, especially in the fall season. But having cozy pillows and having cozy blankets in and around your area, even if they're not out on display, definitely makes it a little bit easier to relax when you do want to sit down, read a book, look through a magazine, make a phone call to a friend, listen to a podcast, enjoy a cup of tea. Doing all of that with a cozy blanket and pillow definitely makes me feel like I'm really living in the season and I'm enjoying the season to its fullest potential. The next thing that I'm working really hard to establish are healthy habits for the season. So to me, I've said this in years past, but the fall to me feels more like a fresh start than the new year for some reason. Of course, the new year is always a wonderful fresh start, but for me, for some reason, the start of the school year really feels like a brand new time. I think it's just the fact that the kids are going back to school. It's a fresh start for everybody. I love the fall because I get another surge of motivation to really buckle down and finish out some of those goals that I've wanted to accomplish. I reevaluate my habits. I reevaluate my goals and I kind of level set after having a more relaxed approach over the summer, which is definitely necessary. But during this time, I really like to go a little bit more introspective and take a peek at what I could be doing to establish better habits that will nourish me through the cooler months, especially moving into the new year. So some of the healthy habits that I always like to have throughout the year are hydrating first thing in the morning. And you know this, I always talk about this on my channel, but drinking water, whether it be cold water, or warm water, preferably, first thing in the morning is really important. Then if you wanna take it up a notch, add a little bit of lemon. I love to add a little bit of warm water with lemon. But what I'm focusing on right now is really getting back into my lemon ginger tonic.
talked about this a lot. I've even shared it in many of my morning routines, but in the summer months, things were just busy and I kind of got off of that habit. I was just drinking warm water with lemon, which is equally as nourishing, but adding in that extra ginger in the fall season just brings in so much peace and warmth to me. It really makes me feel like, wow, I am taking full advantage of the season and all of the flavors, which we will talk about soon, and all of the flavors, and I'm doing something to really wake my body up. So aside from the warm water or the lemon ginger tonic, another thing that I'm really working on doing is getting back to my gratitude journal. This is a practice I did every single day, pretty much without fail for two years straight, even after Sawyer was born. I never missed this habit, but I have to say since moving, I definitely have gotten off track with doing my gratitude journal and I notice a huge difference. Sometimes at the end of the day, I think, huh, have I really even stopped to think about my blessings or the things I'm grateful for? And maybe in a passing moment, yes, those waves of gratitude come in, but when you have to sit down and write down the things you're grateful for, it changes everything. So I'm really bringing this back into my morning routine. And that leads me to my next healthy habit that I'm working to bring back in. And that is my breathing technique. I've talked about Wim Hof's breathing and I've had so many new clients and actually a few of my older clients that have been working with for a while bring this into their practice. And it reminded me of, wow, since moving, I haven't been doing my gratitude journal or my breathing in the morning. and. I mean, I've definitely been doing a ton of other things to support myself and my mental health, but I think just bringing those habits back in will be critical to my days and definitely just being more introspective. Like I said, in the fall season, these habits truly nourish me from the inside out. So I will link those things in the description box down below, the recipe to my lemon ginger tonic, as well as the link to the Wim Hof breathing technique here on YouTube and likewise his app. Both of those tools are so helpful in some of the habits that I'm truly focusing on right now. Next up on our list of ways to be peaceful and cozy in the fall is eating seasonal foods. This is definitely my favorite season for being in the kitchen. And if you haven't seen two of my most recent videos, I will link them for you in the cards. The first one was a healthy fall bake with me. Talk about bringing in the season with a bang. That video you guys responded to so positively and it makes me so happy because I have such a huge passion for baking and especially bringing in a ton of nutrition to our baked goods. So check that out after today's video and get some inspiration for bringing in seasonal foods to your kitchen. Then the week after that, I filmed three fall soup recipes. I will also link that for you up here in the cards. So having healthy soups and stews and things in the crock pot is pretty much all I can think about right now because it is a little bit cooler, but actually not that cold. It's been a little frosty in the mornings, but we've had an unseasonably warm September and start to October. So not that I'm asking for the cold weather yet because I don't mind the heat so much, but I definitely wanna bring out the sweaters just a little bit and more so bring out my crock pot. So I've been doing a ton of Dutch oven recipes, crock pot recipes, instant pot recipes, and bringing in all of the beautiful fall flavors. There is so much that we can do in the kitchen right now with all the beautiful fall flavors. So of course you've got your pumpkin, your squash, your sweet potatoes, but things like cauliflower are bountiful. Brussels sprouts, so many cruciferous vegetables are really coming into season right now that you can enjoy. Likewise, we have pears and grapes and apples. These are some of my favorite fall flavors, but having a crock pot going, eating seasonal foods is just a wonderful way 
to ground yourself into the current season, especially into all of the fall feels. Honestly, it's mainly getting out the big pots and pans and the stews and the soups. Like that to me just brings so much comfort and coziness to my daily life that you, you that's something like you cannot buy. That's something that you cannot recreate. I just love having that kitchen full of flavor and full of the sense of fall. Like I truly feel the most at peace in those moments. The last thing on our list today is gratitude. And I know I already talked about my gratitude journal, but this is different. This is just finding moments of gratitude throughout the day and all of my little activities. And I'm really heavily focusing on that right now. And I've shared this a lot on my channel and I've definitely shared about flipping our perspective on things. So whether it be washing our sheets for an example, instead of being like, okay, it's Thursday, I gotta strip the bedding, I have to wash all of our sheets. I really look forward to it. about that example on my channel before, but I'm really embodying it right now. I'm embodying using my favorite laundry detergent from the laundress. I will link that for you guys in the description box down below, but it smells amazing. So I look forward to the activity of not only washing my sheets, but then I take a nice warm, cozy shower before bed and I get into those sheets and I feel so grateful for that activity and even folding the kids clothes getting little whiffs of my favorite scent from the laundress like those little moments of gratitude are so important or matching their little socks and their little shorts and just like in the moment holding it in my hand knowing that like the socks will never be this small again the shorts will never be this small again and it can be overwhelming to think that way all of the time when there's three hampers full of clothes that need to be folded but I challenge you guys, and this is me talking to myself right now, I challenge all of us to try our best to find little moments of gratitude throughout our daily life because that does create that peaceful, calming comfort from the inside out. When we are calm and peaceful and comforted inside, we definitely exude that on the outside. So if we're resentful for folding the three laundry hampers versus grateful, one that we have a washing machine and that we have children to fold laundry for and that we have clean clothes to wear. I'm trying my best to really look through that lens as much as I possibly can. Looking at it from that perspective just changes everything. It changes how I show up and it creates an environment of peace and calming, comfort, and of course, feeling cozy. So I encourage you guys, even if it is back-to-back -back conference calls that you may have at work, finding ways to be grateful for every little thing that we possibly can. Take a step back, find the gratitude in those moments because that's what creates that ultimate feeling of cozy and peace. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you liked this video. And if you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what your favorite ways are to be cozy into the autumn season. What are some of your healthy habits that you're working to establish as we round out the end of the year? And then what are those moments of gratitude that you like to find throughout the day that help you feel calm and peaceful on the inside? And now the subscribe button is right over here on the screen. Give that a click, that way you don't miss a single video and I hope to see you back here next Thursday.